Hello folks, I hope you are all doing very well with clean hands so your guitar strings last longer. In this video I'd like to show how I learn a new song and the process that I follow normally and the tools that I use, okay? As I'm a beginner, this will obviously uh, be a video for beginners uh, who don't want to be stuck uh, too long to learn a new song. So let's start with the process. So this is for the whole process uh, that I follow, the process of making a video from my YouTube series. Uh, I'll leave a link uh, on the top corner for you if you are interested. Uh, but let's, let's focus on learning the song chapter. So uh, usually I, I go back and forth with the first step. It's either writing the script or studying the song. But uh, studying the song is here. So as you can see, I have many steps. And uh, let me collapse. Let's do it like that. And I'm gonna use the example of the last song I learned, I Stand Alone from God's Mac. So, I used to, to study only the guitars because I played only guitars, uh, but now I got interested in playing the bass as well. So the first thing I do is I go to automate guitar tabs. Yes, I use tabs uh, because I don't have time to learn the songs by ear. It, it would take a long time to, le to learn just a small part of the song, uh, but maybe someday. Huh? Anyway, let's go to automate guitar. So this is the interface. Let's search for the song. I Stand alone. When you search, you have the results uh, listed by artists. So I have Godsmack here. There are maybe some other artists below. And there are different types of tabs. You have the official tab, which is the one they produced. The pro tabs, I don't know if it's somebody else. And you have other types of tabs. So if I choose a simple tab, Let's do it. You see, here we got only uh, the tabs uh, in this simple notation, uh, just the text. And I personally uh, can't use these kind of tabs uh, because there isn't any notation marks about silence points or rhythm information, but mainly because it's not possible to play with it. Uh, you'll see why. Now let's choose an official tab. I'll go back to the results. I will, to, I will take the, the official tab and you see the interface is totally different. On the left side, uh, you have all the instruments uh, for which they added tabs. So in this case, they have vocals, the backing vocals, the rhythm and lead guitars, the bass guitars, and even the drums, okay? And the drums, in this case, they are they are available only in music sheet format. Uh, but if I switch, if I use this button here, old player, switch to the old player, you see that on the drums we have these numbers, and these numbers you see in a future video. These numbers that I can use them to program the drums uh, in my DAW. But that's for a future video. So let's go back to the first rhythm guitar and switch back to the new player because it sounds uh, more realistically let's start the song so i hit play uh, let me check some things that i don't want to show right now i will hit play and reduce the speed i don't know if you can hear the sound maybe it's too low So on the beginning of this song, if I add the metronome, because the drums are not there, you see we have the drums. I can also 
change the pitch of the song if I if I play in, in another tuning. Uh, for this song I didn't do that, but it's possible to do. See? It changes the pitch. I use, but in this song I use the drop C as God, uh, it's God's Mac do. And another useful function is the countdown. So if I activate the countdown, and I'll go back to the beginning, and I hit play, it will count down be before beginning. Uh, which is helpful when playing at full speed, so it doesn't start uh, as you hit play. You can you have a, the countdown to start playing. But with a real uh, with a little practice, what I really like is the possibility of playing while reading the tabs at slow speeds, and it helps memorize the song. Then I can increase the speed uh, at small steps. So what I do is I play it at slow speeds. I learn the riffs, I learn the guitars, I learn the bass and so on and so on. And when I have the full song memorized in my head, I can start increasing the speed until the real speed. And to do that, another very good feature of this, uh, of this website is the loop. So the loop is here. What it does is, it creates an area, a region, uh, in the tab that you can drag and drop. And you can choose, let's say, I'm going to choose just uh, these two bars. What it does when you hit play. What it does is that the app will loop this region indefinitely. I mean, is it, e is it easier than going back and forth with the original song or not? It is much easier than using the original song, right? Another awesome feature they have here is that we can mute or solo the tracks, right? So let's keep... Uh, I, I will turn off the countdown to be faster and um, I'm gonna keep only the drums solo and the rhythm guitar I will remove the loop area so when I do that yeah now I have only the first guitar and the drums which helps a lot uh, studying each, uh, each instrument so I can add the bass, for example. Now the vocals. Is it great or what? By the way, this video is not sponsored by them. It's just a, a tool that I enjoy a lot uh, using. And um, what I do a lot uh, in parallel of studying the tool, uh, studying the song with this tool, is that uh, I listen to it a lot, uh, so I can correct obvious errors of the tab because the tab is not perfect. I, don't, I really don't care. And what I want is just to have fun and pay pay homage to to the artists. I really don't want to play exactly as they do. So this is step one. Let's go back to the map. It's to use the ultimate guitar tabs, right? Uh, what is next? Uh, videos. Even in the tabs, sometimes I, I get stuck. And what I do is that I go to YouTube, I search for the song or solo uh, that is blocking me. And it's amazing how much well-made content exists to teach uh, specific parts of the songs. So I go to YouTube a lot uh, to learn techniques, to to see how the, the song is played uh, by other people. Uh, next step, karaoke version uh, of the song. And this tool is just nuts. So let's go to, the, to their website. I have it open here. And I already have I Stand Alone from God's Mac, right? 
and they have I don't know how many thousands of songs but they have a very big uh, library of songs and uh, they have a special a special area on their site custom backing track this is where I go I will do everything so this is the home page I go to custom backing track I will search for I stand alone from God's Mac when I get here they they have all the isolated tracks of all the instruments in the song you know real instruments recorded in a good studio uh, and you can download what you need of course uh, it costs uh, three bucks per song but man they are well recorded so let's just play it See, I can just hide or show the tracks that I need. I can also can see your face. change you the pitch. And then, if I pay, of course, I have access to download everything together or track by track uh, to make the mix the way I want in my DAW. The download is MP3 instead of WAV files, but it's a, it's a high quality MP3, it's a 320 kbps, so no issues there. Very, very useful tool to learn, uh, to learn a song. Because usually what I do is that I remove the guitars, I download the drums, the bass, or when I play the bass, I don't download the bass, but uh, I, I, I I usually download the drums, all the vocals and the, the keyboards when they exist. I put all of that in my, in my DAW, I use Reaper for that. And I just play along with the song. I record one guitar at a time, plus the bass, and uh, it's very, very good. So I think I'm gonna stop here for this first video. Today was only learning the song. The next video I will show what I do when I don't find the karaoke versions uh, of the songs I wanna play, all right? I hope this video was useful for you. I hope you learned something. Uh, if you did, consider giving a like or subscribing to the channel. That would be musical for me. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.